Salams. I'm Glinda. Your ancestors from your north node. <laughs> what was that, Sister Glinda? Oh, they're your children from the Jenna. They're happy because you freed you freed them from the wicked witch of the east. It's all right. You may all come out and thank her. Come out, come out, wherever you are, and meet the young lady who fell from a star. She fell from the sky, she fell very far, and Philly, she says, is the name of the star. And Philly, she says, is the name of the star. She brings you good news, or haven't you heard? When she fell out of Philly, a miracle occurred. You guys, really, you shouldn't. It really was no miracle. What happened was just this. The wind began to switch, the house to pitch, and suddenly the thing started to unhitch. Just then, the witch, to satisfy an itch, went flying on her broomstick, thumbing for an itch. And ooh, what happened then was rich. The house began to pitch, the kitchen took a stitch, and landed on a wicked witch in the middle of a ditch, which was not a healthy situation for the wicked witch. The house began to pitch, the kitchen took a stitch, and landed on the wicked witch in the middle of a ditch, which was not a healthy situation for the wicked witch, who began to twitch, and was reduced to just a stitch, and was once the witch. Wicked witch. So, yes, and we thank you very sweetly for doing it so neatly. You've killed her so completely that we thank you very sweetly. Let the joyous views news be spread the wicked old witch at last is dead ding dong the witch is dead witch old witch the wicked witch ding dong the witched witch is dead wake up you sleepy heads rub your eyes get out of bed ding dong the wicked witch is dead she's gone where the goblins go below 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 your hole so let's open up and sing and ring the bells out ding dong the mario sing it high sing it low let them know the wicked witch is dead gemini <laughs> what's up guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel i'm eccentric rockstar seed and i have some very empowering you did that shit gemini i'm gonna tell you something your north node your sun your moon your venus wherever every placement you have that's gemini keep in mind take what resonates leave what does not <laughs> do not forget to like share and subscribe boy i'm reenacting the premonition the dream it was lit yeah i was singing it i know y'all know that's from the wizard of oz i don't have rights to that project but you get it <sighs> so anyway let me continue let me proceed to continue and i'll tell you that's exactly what these cards say when i shuffled them and laid them out that's what made me sing it. I was like, I got to sing it for my Geminis. They're not going to understand it at first, but they will. They're going to they gonna laugh because it's eccentric. As mayor of the Munchkin City, in the country of the land of Oz, I welcome you most regally, but we've got to verify it legally to see, to see if she, if she is morally, ethically, spiritually, physically, positively, absolutely, undeniably, and reliably dead. <laughs> they want to make sure that 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 curse is lifted off these generations for many generations back. As coroner, I must aver, I thoroughly examined her, and she not only merely dead, she's really most sincerely dead. Let's get into it. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. That 
that curse and everybody who flew out. You threw the, ba the, the baby out with the bath water on this one. Yes, you did. All right, so what I'm getting, so you had an emperor. This is like going back. From what I saw in your prim from what I saw in the premonition is like a lot of generations back. It was an emperor, it was a male figure. In the public's eye, he was one thing, but he has two faces. He's like a two-headed doctor. You dig? So he put a curse. He fell in love with a woman. He married this woman. This woman was younger, maybe a lot younger than him. I see in my premonition, he was a mature man. So she was like young enough to bear children. In most traditions, people do that. They marry like much younger women, so to speak. And it did, he didn't like that. He's an emperor. So he commenced the casting, the god darn nastiness on her generations for many generations to come. Long story short. And I get the, in my premonition, I saw the emperor. I saw the four swords in reverse. And these are, these are from a few different decks, okay? So you got the breathing rolls. That's about heart healing, emotions, connections, time easing, eternal student. Like when I, I didn't even shuffle this deck, but when I split the deck, this is correlates in what I was just doing. You see that? That's Josephine Baker, the muse of dance, okay? And that's the eternal, the ethereal student. So when you put that together, you use like this somebody who... Can be the cat's meow but also you don't want to mess with that person neither this person abused their power you know they had that competitive streak like in the moonology deck the win-win outcast the win-win outcome is a forecast the full moon in libra that that balancing of the scales but i feel like you're in a void and you mastered what to do next you know how to prepare for that next this wasn't easy for you gemini you had to really let go and let god Okay, with some things that were very difficult for you. And you did that shit. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. You did it. Okay, because it's about embracing the, the winter. The void basically talks about things ending, but things are also forming. So everything you did is not, it's not in vain. I want to move all these cards out the deck, out the way. And I got telepathy, like communication. That's what I saw in the dream state. You could be a master number 22. I got the Ten of Cups in reverse, so this emperor, you know, spiritually, he lit, he was a nightmare on Elm Street, basically, when he got hurt because his heart was broken, okay? You may see, like, the men in your family, the men in your lineage may come off all, all strong and, like, militant, but deep down inside, they don't, you never see them really fully embrace emotion for anything, you might see them care for a woman a little bit, if that's their wife, mother, their kids, a little bit. But you might even see them swing on her. Like you, like if you grew up in a certain era or you're from a certain era, they fought. They fist fought because he tried to control her and dominate her. That was a curse. That's part of a curse that's put on your family. But uh, let's get into this. Let's get into it. You got activated earth. Power places, key lines. You trust where you're led. So you could have been led, like you could, even this is in a dream state. Like if you look at the water right here, you could have saw yourself in a, a different, um, at a different timeline or a different, a past life, or just, you just see yourself in a current, but in a different space than where you live. Like you could be led to go somewhere, like a different state, different country, different continent. You could be seeing like uh, synchronicities that would indicate that you're supposed to be somewhere else, that you're led to go somewhere else. Like, for example, the Big Apple. You can see a lot of apples. New York. You could be, just as an example, you're led, you see a lot of things that represent New York as leading you to go there, okay? And then you got morning dew. Clarity, a fresh start, a positive outlook. I feel like you're in control of how you decide to wake up and what your vibe is going to be and how you're going to begin your day. Then you got setting boundaries, okay? Setting boundaries is a threshold, protection, honor. It's really just honoring yourself. You're not letting people, just because they're your loved ones, family or friends, take advantage of you anymore. Then I got the Five of Swords was the, the, the overall energy, I'm sorry. The Five of Swords, that's defeat, okay? This is like showing, that's proceeding with caution, but also encouraging 
boundaries with that big safari cap behind her it's like you proceed with caution but you want to set the right boundaries you don't have to be like nasty about it and then this correlates with that by saying i can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy only what makes like what makes you happy you decide your vibe and what was clarifying that five of swords was the queen of cups that's why i was singing it like that because you got this dark motherfucker right here this bully you dig and then you got you the queen of cups you know how you know i'm gonna say it at some point in this video what the fuck is a five to a queen of cups you dig but that's that's that generational curse that's is this is this is some of your loved ones with the spirit of that emperor that nasty person from all of them eons ago okay is being defeated by you you and all your empathy compassion love and joy that was the the thing to break the curse Okay, what was the what was the curse blocking? Abundance, fortune, wealth, plenty. So your family could have been like on hard times for generations to come in any manner. It's not one particular manner over another. Whether you have substance abuse problems, money problems, health problems, all of it was cursed. So who are we? What are we, which deck are we going to use? This one. <laughs> you like my singing? It's hilarious. But it was true. That's how it was playing out. Like you are being praised. You're being celebrated by your by the people. It's not just your ancestors. It's not just the most high that's pleased with you. He's making sure that all the people are pleased with you because you're on your north note. See what I mean? The Ace of Wands is here. No more. No more. That's okay. And what's that clarified as? The Four of Pentacles. No more lackluster. The Ace of the Ace of Wands is fertility. That can even indicate pregnancy. Okay. It indicates an opportunity to fix the problem, to fix business. You dig? No more, no more stinginess. That get that stinginess out your heart. The Most High is here. That generosity is there with you okay and what's the obstacle the star why would the star be the obstacle seven of coins canvas that could be ego egocentrics because if you look at the seven of pentacles it's clarifying the star is he's painting his own canvas you don't want to take too much credit for what you're doing because you're about you you're the star okay don't get in the way of what god has freed your whole lineage from the bondages as they speak okay the, the goal or the aim is that knight of swords that wittiness that that common sense you don't want to block that i need my mental to be sharp quick and to the point king of cups that's a match the aim is to stop being disappointed so for so much of it because you got a king and a queen of cups here now you need that you need your counterparts to show up for you just like you show up for them or partnerships in general people places things in general your family in general friends you need them to show up just as much as you do and then you have the king of swords on the influence okay like what is it i'm sorry not the influence hold on guys i got blow my nose What? You want some chips? Yeah. You eat chips? Yeah. I didn't give you chips. Where do you get chips from? I'm not, I'm not sure. So what about popcorn? Anyway. Oh yeah. That his spirit is still like his his spirit was still raining on. It showed up in your partners, it showed up in your parental figures, it showed up in the men in your family. Or even the women, because you got the five of swords, like the the root of the matter, like what's forgotten is him. He was a tyrant. He raged war against the person who left him. But then, what's in the past tense? Page of cups. 
He forgot the fact that he had a child with this person. Knight of Wands. He left the child alone. Well, maybe he left the child in a basket and the child had to grow up like Mobley from the Jungle Book. Like he let, let the animals raise him. Dang. Like this person got this clarified by the Knight of Wands. Wow. I feel like so much of this reading is really just teaching you in its own eccentric way how to protect yourself from the horrors. You know, from the, the protect, the, the, the not let the devil in. The devil is not welcome here. That's what it feel like. Because the Knight of Wands represents gins to me. And this person is running away from this kid. The kid is one way. The Knight of Wands is going the other way. What's in the, the future? There, you. Queen of Cups. Because you already showed up as the Queen of Cups. With information. With valuable information and research. Like, you done got to the root of the problem. That's what I like about this reading and how the cards were laid out is you got to, you figured out the recipe and you're executing it. So you want to proceed with caution to make sure nobody's going to come execute you. But the, the overall energy is the Ace of Wands. He gave you the permission to do it. So nobody's going to bother you. You can't be touched. So how are you feeling about yourself? On top of the world? You feel like the generational curse is ended. The world is ending new beginnings. That's clarified by what? The temperance, healing, the balance of that yin yang energy, that methodical spirituality. Did I say that right? Maybe. But this is like, this is deep healing. Deep, deep healing. But it is a balance of yin yang energy, masculine, feminine energy. Okay, and Sagittarius is philosophical anyway. What's the environmental attitude? Queen of Wands. Clarified by what? The Eight of Cups. That's right. I feel like you're encouraging your, your family members or just, like you're, that's a warrior. Okay? The environmental attitude only consists of you. Removing yourself from what doesn't serve you. Stand up and fight. That's what that is. The Eight of Cups and the Queen of Wands. And then the, your fears and your worries. Ten of Cups. Like your hopes and your fears is that they get one up. You don't want them to get one up on you by showing up in a different manner than you've been showing up. Like whatever your defense mechanisms were in the past, you don't want anybody to come and trick you out of your newfound success with the Ten of Cups. Like, hey, we come in family, we love, we laugh, we live, and it's a whole goddamn scheme, trick of the shaitan. This witch is back. Like, ding dong, the witch is dead. But if you remember in the Wizard of Oz, that was her sister, the, the Wicked Witch of the East. They had they spent the rest of the movie getting on top of getting you know taking down the wicked witch of the west because she's gonna be very vengeful, very angry that y'all done took her sister out. Remember? Yeah. So it was like you took one down with the five of swords, <laughs> with this five of swords. See, now you got him out here twice. You told you I can't make this shit up. You took one of them down. Now you gotta take the other one down. Oh, what is that? His evil twin? <laughs> what? And then the outcome is the magician. It's just your strength. Just seeing your talents and your, your abilities and your strengths is what all this taught you. That's how you're able to break a generational curse or break away from abusive situations that stem from generational curses. So that's clarified by the seven of wands. That's right. Block it. Your opinion is no longer solicited. So don't offer it. Don't try to force it. I almost feel like people try to shove their way of thinking all like down your throat in a sense, like all like a bully. You dig what I'm saying? What's on the bottom? The chariot. You're moving on. But I don't see you as some kind of a witch. What I see you as is some kind of spiritual warrior, you know, a servant of God who can counter. That's the only thing that really can counteract that dark witch because the dark witch relies on gins. Her master is the devil. You dig what I'm saying? So for, 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 Damn. Let me get some more. Let me do some more. Let's do this. I get got right to the. I like that the cards really illustrate the dream, and I picked these cards because they're in black and white, like a dream. It look like a premonition. 
See? Queen of Shadows. Dark Witch. You see that? Can't make that up. It's clarified by Muse of Music. Something with the music. That's why I was singing in the beginning of your video. It's like positive affirmations, praying, recitation of the, the scripture, <coughs> recite it in your beautiful voice. Your recitate, you know that recitation of the Quran and you recite it, not like singing, but in a very like beautiful tone of your voice. Kills gins. It burns them alive. That's what I get from this. That's what I get from your reading. That's what I get from you. That's what I get for you. So you wonder why you're a different religion or a different lifestyle or just different from your family entirely. You're pulling your family out the shadows or out of that way of doing things. They may not. There you go. The Sagittarius, the wounded healer. You see that? Hold up. Why well, I call it the Sagittarius? Look. See that? The wounded healer. I was gifted red roses today, too. Look at that. And she has a red rose there. Not to clarify that, it's the Weber of the mind. They can't do them psychic attacks. That's where I got that premonition about telepathy. They show up in your dreams and they manipulate you through your dreams to block your crown chakra, to block your third eye. So you're confused. You stick with them. They energy harvest. They steal from you. They keep the curse going. Nope. You've outwitted the devil. And when I open the deck, there you go. That's Renaissance. You see that man and that woman? And then you got the muse of the art. You live in color. Not in the shadows. So whoever, I feel like so much of it, people were coming as, where they were posing as your counterpart. Uh-uh. Pick all that up. You know better than that. You know I'm going to take, you know I'm going to talk to you when I get off this reading. Don't do that in Gemini's reading. Don't you dare disrespect Gemini in their reading. Now pick it up. Okay. Excuse me, as I was saying, I feel like so much of the trials that you've been through have been they've the, like the trick of the devil. Like he just keeps going and going and going like through love, people, through connections, through people, people you might be interested in or act like they, they pose themselves as a counterpart for you. Like with the king and queen of cups, only for that five of one, five of swords to be, what was it? Clarifying the ten of cups. It always is something shady or something that's just a defeat. Like you feel defeated because you fell for the okie doke. It makes you feel like that. It makes you feel humiliated like that. So yeah, that was that was a trick. Oh, Marty Ma, I love the kids, huh? Y'all want to play games? Now it's like I feel like the 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 comedy and me singing in the beginning is you. You done snapped. This is like this is it's like you you got it in your head that okay you're trying to play me now it's my turn. I always see Tupac when I think Gemini's get pissed off. I always visualize Tupac singing first off fuck you bitch and the click you claim and and the click you claim. You claim to be a player but I effed your wife da 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 da. Like he went ballistic because he felt like the man turned on him which it really really didn't. It was just the media having fun spent out of control and they were very young at the time and they were like friends they really were friends devastating and so much of that is about to stop you're putting that to rest at this point so is there any last minute messages for the gemini's and don't laugh at my singing neither i laughed at it too though my greatest spiritual shift don't come through force, they come through freedom. Doesn't that sum up what I just said? No bullying. You ain't got the spiritually attack to get what you want. My ability to receive a measure is measured by how much I practice good feelings and good thoughts. Somebody wants you to feel like crap so they can get you. But I told you, that's a five to a, a queen, okay? Or a king of cups. Dig. It's like taking accountability with the masculine energy, the king, the king of cups and the knight of swords. It's like 
you gotta be quick on your it's not it's not that you're not quick on your feet that has nothing to do with it it's just use that common sense don't be falling in love with people like make sure you use discernment make sure you use good judgment and remain emotionally intelligent but take accountability you know for where we might have fell short is what i'm getting i don't know, i could kind of hear y'all like i can't believe she sung the wizard of oz in my video i can't enjoy it okay because when i connect to the spiritual realm i open the door to receive divine guidance clear direction and great wisdom this is kind of what I get from the emperor, but in reverse. Like, he kind of connected to a different, a darker spiritual realm. Like, playing with that Ouija board. I let I let the universe catch up to my dreams. I feel like God, God was showing you the truth of the matter so you could fix it. Because you ask. It's like, when you ask, you shall receive. Gemini, let this be a lesson. Run. Go make Umrah. For those who resonate with that, make make a Hajj and Umrah. Run through the two mountains of Safa and Marwa. Okay? Gemini, I hope you like your... I hope you enjoyed your reading. I, if anything, I hope it made you laugh. Okay? Because it's true. It's funny, but it's true. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.